So what was your initial reaction to Gen AI? Did it take your industry by surprise? So I think, so I will, I will break down the, the question into my personal reaction and then, then the company reaction that I observed. So my, my personal reaction was that first I was not, I was not very impressed when I learned that GPT can write a, a poem. I was like, yeah, I, it really doesn't move me. I was getting like increasingly interested and with the GPT-4 release, I think that was the moment when <clears throat> I got convinced that there is a real value of an artificial intelligence that actually understands me as a person, that can understand what I'm saying and that can understand the reason why I'm saying it and the need behind my, my statement. So, so that was for me the the that was that was for me the moment when I got when I got totally excited, like uh, GPT four, that can understand jokes, that can understand meaning of things, that can complete tasks that it was it was never trained for. So, so that was that was sort of the that was sort of the moment when I got convinced. And in the company, Takeda is a very conservative organization. So there was at the beginning a big like guys. Let's be really careful here. So, so that was, I think, the, the first big reaction. Uh, and uh, uh, it was about security and never send the data anywhere to these platforms. So, so that, was, that, was the, that was the beginning. Now we are evolved into, right, let's explore the use cases. And I've actually just finished uh, last week uh, a session where actually the company narrowed down to like five major use cases that we want to really work on starting next month that we will invest behind and we will actually bring them to life. Uh, so uh, I think now we are past this initial reaction uh, and now we are into like, how can we use this um, stage? That's great. and. Um, where are you feeling the pressure to adopt an AI within your own ecosystem? Is it coming from a board, from leadership, from customers? Where is the primary pressure coming from? Takeda is a very decentralized organization, so it's very difficult to answer this question. I think it really depends. There are some functions that really are very active themselves, uh, like TBS, uh, like a manufacturing organization. Uh, then there are functions that are less. I would say the, the pressure is more bottom up than top down, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so so the, the five use cases that I mentioned, we are going to actually present it to the board. So it was not the board saying, these are the areas we want to, you to look at. It is actually out of the 150 use cases through prioritization, we ended, ended with five that we are presenting to the board. So I think it's definitely more bottom up but it depends uh, on function. That makes sense. And when was the last time you saw any kind of technology triggering a similar response as to what Gen AI is doing? Um, video calls, maybe. I think would be would be probably my answer. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the way how we managed to switch from face to face and uh, dialing Webex, dialing numbers somehow from our landlines to uh, actually a very smooth video call type connections with people. I think th this, this is for me the level of the comparison. What risks are you recognizing right now and how are you tackling those? So I think one risk is on this data readiness on, and on, on this text that we need. One risk is on security. I, I still think there is uh, this uh, notion, and it is our official company policy, not to share data, internal data, with the large language model through APIs or through like um, like uh, the ChatGPT. We are not allowed to use ChatGPT, like probably most companies. Mm -hmm. um, so that is that is another risk, the security. And and I then I would say, uh, you know, to to what we discussed, the alignment. Are we able to actually use this technology for the benefit of us as humans in this company? And my last question is, is do you have any advice for any enterprise leaders looking to start their own Gen AI journey? I would like to say, don't be afraid. 
but I, I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit afraid to say it. Yeah, probably. Look, there is this idea of we cannot screw this up. So really be careful. So, so I think that is a yeah, it's difficult, right? How you how you do it? Uh, here we say we cannot screw this up like we did with um, uh, social media. We cannot. We absolutely cannot. But at the same time, we have no idea what is ahead. So how can you really effectively not screw things up if you don't know what's ahead? Then it means do nothing, but do nothing you also don't want to do. Yeah, I would say be brave. Be brave. I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Right. It was a pleasure.